In this video, I'm going to talk about critical points. Critical points are the first part of the function analysis, followed by inflection points. But I'll be only following the first part of the analysis, so I'll only focus on critical points in this video. And I'll talk about inflection points in the following video. Critical points can be obtained by following two steps. The first step is, is to obtain the derivative of the function. So you want to find your f prime x. After you have the derivative, all you do is just make it zero. So it will be equal to zero. And by solving for x, you will obtain one or, or two critical points. So it's basically only two steps. However, it varies if you have one or two critical points. When you have two different critical points, and I'm going to call them A and B, you will have a maximum and a minimum. And therefore, you will have a positive slope or a negative slope, or in other words, an increasing function or a decreasing function. And you determine that by just looking at the value of your critical points. If your maximum and minimum are A and B, anything that's below A or above B is going to have a positive slope and an increasing function. However, if a value is in between your maximum and minimum, so it's in between A and B, you will have a negative slope and a decreasing function. It makes it simpler when you add numbers to it. So let's say our a is 3 and our b is 7. So we have 3 here and 7 here. Anything that's below a, so 3, is going to be increasing. Anything that's above b or 7 is going to be increasing as well and anything that's in between is going to be decreasing so if you get x equals 1 you're you'll have an increasing function just go here if you get x equals 5 it will be decreasing and if you get x equals 8 or above whatever it will be increasing that's the complicated part if you if you only have one critical point it is way easier so let's call your critical point a so x is equal to a and what happens is that anything that's below a is going to have a decreasing function and a negative slope and anything that's above a is going to have an increasing function and a positive slope so it will be basically like this. This is your point. Anything that's below is going to be decreasing. Anything that's above is going to be increasing. And I'll solve a quick problem to show you how it goes. This is a problem. Our function is x squared minus 3x plus 4. So the first step is to find the derivative of this function. So f prime x going to be equal to 2x minus 3 and then the second step the second step is to make that equal to 0 so f prime x is going to be equal to 0 which means that 0 is going to be equal to 2x minus 3 and then x is going to be 3 halves and this is our critical point Therefore, anything that's below 3 halves is going to have a decreasing function. And anything that's above 3 halves is going to have an increasing function. You could do an, an extra step if you want to find the value of y when x is that. So y 
when x is equal to 3 halves you simply plug the values into the first function so when fx was equal to x squared minus 3x plus 4 sorry about that that would be 9 fourths minus 9 halves plus 4 which is 7 fourths so add f prime x 0 you have x is equal to 3 halves and y is 7 fourths and that's your analysis if you found the video helpful like it and share it with your friends